Welcome to our brand new series this month called Legacy. Do you know what a legacy is? Now, a legacy might be something that's very valuable, that's handed down from generation to generation, kind of like an heirloom. Maybe it's like an old watch or a book. Or sometimes a legacy is a reputation that someone leaves behind, 
like someone might have a legacy of caring for animals or being kind and generous. Now, when you see something that's a legacy, it's kind of like you're traveling in time to when that thing first existed. Well, speaking of which, let's listen to today's Bible story by time traveling with our friends over at Callie's World. when my parents let me vlog because I get to spend time learning with all of you. So, you want to see what I found yesterday? Yesterday, I went to my very dark attic. Have you ever been in an attic? It's the space above your house that people don't usually live in. It's more for old stuff people want to keep. Usually, Dark places like that are scary to me. But it's not so bad when I'm playing hide and seek with my brother. So, I was hiding for an extra long time and found something very interesting. I thought I would find an ancient Egyptian mummy up there or a huge spider or a whole spider family. But there were these old albums. I opened up one and I saw pictures of my mom when she was little, like me. I felt like I traveled in a time machine or something. A lot of people tell me I look just like my mom. And this picture showed that they were right. Now that I think about it, my mom passed down some other things to me too, like how much she loves animals and singing, you know. The Bible tells us about something else that was passed down to all of us. Want to hear about it? It's time for our Bible story. This story comes from the book of Acts, chapter 8, and begins with a man named Philip. We'll call him Phil. An angel of God came to Phil and told him to travel south on a desert road. Phil was a follower of Jesus, and it was time for him to spread the good news about who Jesus was and what he had done. Sounds cool, but also hard. It would be, but Phil had a helper. That helper is called the Holy Spirit. Jesus promised that after he went to heaven, he would send the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit guides us, comforts us, and helps us to know God better. The Holy Spirit also helps us to tell others about God. So the Holy Spirit led Philip to a chariot that was on that desert road. The man inside was from a far off place called Ethiopia. Say that with me, Ethiopia. Good, he was on his way home from Jerusalem. He hadn't heard about the good news about Jesus yet and that's exactly what Phil was coming to tell him. Crazy, right? But it gets even better. This man from, say it with me, Ethiopia was reading at that very moment the words of the prophet Isaiah. Prophets were people that told the truth and Isaiah was known as the good news prophet because he told the truth about a savior who would be coming a long time before Jesus even came to earth. Naturally this man didn't really understand what he was reading but remember the Holy Spirit had sent Phil to this man for that very reason. Phil explained that the savior Isaiah was talking about was Jesus. The man was so amazed that he decided he wanted to follow Jesus too. He asked Phil to baptize him in a body of water nearby. And when he had come out the water, Phil was gone. The Holy Spirit led Phil somewhere else to tell more people about Jesus. Knowing God or even wanting to know God can seem hard and confusing sometimes, but the Holy Spirit is God's gift to us, just like he was to Phil and the man from Ethiopia. The Holy Spirit is the part of God that goes with us. The Holy Spirit is God's gift, someone who can be with us and help us want to know God. The Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. And Jesus left the Holy Spirit for Phil, just like my family left that picture album for me. Hmm, there's a word on the cover of the album. Can you help me read it? L E G A C Y. Legacy. 
I wonder what that means. Hey Siri, what does the word legacy mean? A legacy is something that is handed down from one period of time to another period of time. Whoa, that means this album is a legacy. Whoa, and maybe the Holy Spirit is like God's legacy for us. The Holy Spirit helps us know God right now. Just like the Holy Spirit helped that man from Ethiopia all those years ago. One person who helps me know things is my mom. Like how to do my hair and how to be brave. Seeing this picture of her when she was my age, ready to go to church, makes me want to know more about how she started to love Jesus. What about your family? I know families are all different and some probably don't have picture albums, but everyone has stories. I bet your family has some exciting stories that you'll want to know. And of course, the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. Friends, it's been fun. And I think I'll look through more of these pictures now. Thanks for sort of time traveling with me today to learn about the Holy Spirit. I love growing with all of you. See you next time. Peace. So just like that man from Ethiopia wanted to know more about God and Philip was there because the angel led him there, the Holy Spirit does the same thing for us. The Holy Spirit is the legacy that Jesus left behind for all of us. When he went up to heaven, he gave us the Holy Spirit so that we can learn about God, but not just learn about God, to want to learn about God. Now, just think for a second, how much do you know about God? Newsflash, even people who study the Bible every single day don't know everything about God. That's how big and mysterious God is. That means all of us right now, we need to have a desire to want to know God more. You know, when we think something is mysterious or we're not sure what it is, we might give up and not want to learn. But the thing with God is because we know He loves us so much, we should have a desire in our hearts to want to know Him more and more. So start right now and say, hey, Am I doing everything I can to know more about God? And if the answer to that question is no, then you can pray about it because that's what the Holy Spirit does for us. The Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. Amen? Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you so much for the legacy of the Holy Spirit that you left for us so that all of us may have power to do amazing things for your kingdom. But first and foremost, to have a desire to know you. So Lord, help us each day to think about you, to think what you want us to do, that our lives may always reflect what you want for us and show how much we love you in everything we say and do. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being with us. Guide us each and every day of our lives. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.